Well, it's Saturday night, 8.30. I'm headed home from the pool hall. I had a fellow drop off some knives about 30 minutes ago at the pool hall. Uh, three or four kitchen knives and I think three pocket knives. Give me something to do tomorrow. But tomorrow could be a Klondike. I got knives to pick up from three different people around 11 o'clock. One is a restaurant with a lot of knives, the lady says. Then there's two sets of household knives. So Sunday may be okay. I'll get back to you. <clears throat> Here are the restaurant knives. Here are the pocket knives and the hunting knives. Kerber. Here are the two knives. Here are the shuns. And they all look like serrated. Every single one of them look like serrated. Look at that one. Isn't that something? Well, that is serrated. <laughs> That's a shame. And here are all the household knives and one cleaver. These are called uh, Phyllis, I don't know, some damn thing. You know what they are. Well, the best knife customer of all has just dropped off some knives. You've seen them many, many times. Let's take a look and see what he brought us today. And I know there's cash in the bag too. Well, I'm on my way to drop off all the stuff I picked up yesterday. And one of my uh, restaurant accounts called me and says, you gotta come by and pick up my knives, they're dull. Well, I have like 18 or 19 full-time restaurants that are normal exchanges, two or three weeks. Then I have nine restaurants or 10, I don't know how many, that are random, meaning they call me when they're dull as bricks, and I pick them up and sharpen them. This is one of the random ones. It's a coffee hop, coffee shop. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. And the day ends on a bubble blade. A fancy fish fillet knife of sorts. I do a lot of these around here because there's so much fishing, you know. 